Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, y'all. Come like a cherry. Come like a cherry. Your boy done switched up on you. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, y'all. You guys, look, if this is your very first time on this channel, run on that subscribe for us. And after you subscribe, make sure you hit the notification bell beside the word subscribe so that you will be notified each and every time that we upload a video. And then, welcome to the Lit Family. Now that you're part of the Lit Family, there's things that we need for you to do. Those things are comment, comment, comment like share and go for the team. Comment like share and go for the team. Comment like share and don't forget to comment, like and share. Comment, like and share. Comment, like and share. Don't forget to comment, like and share. Comment, like and share. Comment, like and share. Don't forget to. Don't forget to comment, like and share. Okay, you guys, we're going to pray and we're going to get into the food, okay? Here we go. Amen. How y'all doing today? How you doing? Today, I want to come and have some breakfast with my legion. Get this day started off well. So you know somebody love you bright and early this day. A lot of times folks have to tell you they love you. They have to tell you. Okay, you guys, today, we got us a stack of pancakes from IHOP. You know, that's where I get my pancake from. We've got sausage, we've got bacon, and we've got eggs. I've got the butter pecan syrup. But today, I also got some of that strawberry syrup. That I saw Sandra and a few other them use during the five and five challenge. So let's go. I already got my butter down in here. It's already down there. Mmm. 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 Get us some syrup down there, honey. Mmm. Mmm. Ooh, wing. All right, there we go. Get us some syrup down in there, honey. That's what we're gonna do. And get to eat me pancakes. Y'all, I have seriously been craving pancakes ever since we did the five and five. For real. I've been wanting them ever since. Ever since I've been wanting them. I've got five today as well. There you go. That was a good number for me. It was a good amount of pancakes. I really, really like that. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Yeah, that's good. That's good. Mmm. Y'all, I have pancakes are so good. Mmm. That is good. So how y'all doing this morning? Mmm. You done got me your prayers? You got your day started? Ugh. Mmm. Mmm. Y'all do pancakes good. That is good. I left my bacon in the oven too long, though. So we eating crispy back in the day. Mm. Some of it survived the way I like it. Some of it did. Yeah. Big Ben is in the building, baby. Big Ben is here. I did it right now because them pancakes is in my throat. <laughs> Ah, uh, y'all, Big Ben is nice and refreshing. Mmm. Mmm. Them sauce is good. Them Tennessee Pride sauce is there. Mmm. Mmm. Y'all, I dropped my bacon. You know you're on the right trail, baby. You know you're on the right trail. Ha <laughs> ha! Y'all. 
I threw my bacon down, honey. Mmm. Y'all, I woke up this morning in the best of moods. Said my prayer, brushed my team. Y'all, I'm in the best of moods today. I really am. So I hope you're having a phenomenal day with me. Mm -hmm. I hope you're having a phenomenal day with me. Okay, y'all. I've been trying this strawberry syrup. I'm going to see. I'm going to try it. I've never tried it before. Y'all, we're going to see whether it's any good or not. Okay. Oh. Um, y'all, a piece of it. It look a mess. I'm sorry. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Okay. I understand. But honey, we're going to retire that to the side. <laughs> mm -mm. I like it. I mean, it's the syrup, but I'll probably eat that on like a biscuit, not a pancake. Mm -mm. For me, it's a no-go. That's a good piece of bacon right there. That's a good piece. Mm. I guess I thought. Mm. Yeah, I overcooked it and I really didn't. Or maybe I did just a few pieces. Y'all. I know what I want to talk about. Look, y'all remember a few days back we were talking about how you know the kids, how you, you know, you watch over them, you do this, you do that, be proud of yourself, tell yourself that you're happy, you know that you've accomplished some things. And let me tell y'all something that happened. Because, you know, most things that we talk about, there's always another side to that coin. Because you owe your child, as a, you know, as a parent, you owe your child not to hurt them. Not to hurt them in their adult life. You shouldn't do that. And so let me tell y'all what's going on. Now, I ain't talking about nobody because I don't know these folks personally now. I don't know these folks personally. I'm just bringing you the good news that's coming through here in Memphis, Tennessee. Which y'all should know anyway. So y'all know the little Wiseman kid that played for the Memphis Tigers. Y'all, the NCAA is trying to make him ineligible because he accepted some money to move. This has been over a decade ago now. When the kid was like 9 or 10 years old. But his mama took this money and moved him. Right? So now, they're saying that because she took that money to relocate him, that he's in Ellsworth because he's had boosters giving him money. Y'all know that whole thing. I understand the situation. I don't know what the situation was. But I do know that if they, that boy is the number one uh, college athlete in the country. As far as his expectations of going to the NBA and stuff like that. Y'all, it's going to be really, really sad if that boy loses his career because his mama took that money. That boy woman, 9, 10 years old when that happened. That's going to be awful sad. Mm-hmm. That's going to be sad. But, as adults, I'm sure that woman probably at that time, when she took that money, she wasn't thinking nothing about what could have happened today. And we all make mistakes. We all do. But I know she hated it now. I don't know what he's doing. Because that boy is for sure going to the NBA. He's good. Mm-hmm. Here he is. Mm. So where y'all at? 
Y'all at the house chilling. Y'all eat with me. And how's y'all weather? Baby, so call him. Baby. When I say call, I'm talking about call. Mm hmm. It's cold here, y'all. I hope y'all wrapped up warm. Don't forget to warm your car before you go to work now. I have it work better. Don't get too busy. And don't be checking your fluids, your gas level, and all of that. Mess around with something happens to your vehicle while you're out there in that cold. Because y'all, it's getting cold. Well, this thing already got cold here, honey. Real cold. I'm talking about way down there, y'all. I know the people up there in Chicago and places like that. Like, boy, it ain't cold down there. <laughs> so what we think cold, honey, is like a summer day to them. So I would love to live there myself. I would love to live in a colder region. I like, I'd rather be cold than hot any day. I would. Because you can always put on some cover. You know, put on a coat. You know, kind of warm yourself up. Baby, you can't walk around with no air conditioning. Y'all, that's a lot. That, uh, Y'all, don't even worry about it. You can't walk around with no air conditioning all day long. Go besides your head. So give me the call any day. Call for 200, Alex. <laughs> hey! Give me the call, honey. I want it. Hold on, y'all. Ah. Oh, that was good. Your pancakes is thick. So how is y'all doing though? Huh? Are y'all at work sneaking watching me? Mmm. I bet you somebody um somebody gonna tell me in the comments. We had a video. Look, y'all remember when we did the me and my husband did the review for the <laughs> For the B-Love My Sauce, y'all. I don't forgot who it was. But somebody told me in the comments said, when they seen production on the video, they were like, as soon as I seen y'all came up, they at work now, y'all. They were like, as soon as I seen y'all come up, I took me a bathroom break. <laughs> y'all, that's loyalty, baby. That's loyalty now. But... You ain't never told me that you took no break before just come see me. You just went and took a break. Just got production was on the show. Baby, I cannot allow you to think that I missed that. I cannot. Don't be getting fired, though. <laughs> I appreciate you, whoever you are. Y'all never so funny to me. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. She said as soon as she saw us come up, she took a bathroom break. <laughs> Hey, y'all ever so funny to me? Mm -hmm. You know how people can say certain things to you and you can kind of visualize it in your head. You know, that type of thing. I can visualize her getting out of her job to get to the bathroom, honey. Mm. That was a fun video, too. That was a really fun video. Mmm. -hmm. Y'all think I'm full. I think I'm full. Hold on a minute. Let me say. Yep. I'm full. <sighs> I thought I was full. I think I am. I don't know. The food good, though. I want to stop eating it. I'm going to sit here and see if my, if my stomach is going to be full. <laughs> hey! Y'all, that's sad. That's sad. I wanted some breakfast, though. I did. I wanted some breakfast. Mm -hmm.
Mm. Mm, that's good. That's good. Mm. Mm. Well, I guess I went for it then. Mm. Do y'all like pancakes? Y'all know when we did the five and five, some people was like, they prefer waffles. Are you a pancake or a waffle person? Let me know down below. I'm a pancake person. Baby, I love me some pancakes. And with that being said, which it ain't got nothing to do with it, <laughs> but it just came to my head to make sure I remind you to go and see my Buck Bay Bull. Big Mac, you love shame. I'm left. Look at my in Sam's world. Y'all don't forget to go see him now. Don't forget to go see him. Mm. I'll pick you one or two or all four, I wish. Mm. And go and visit them when you get through with my video. Go and visit them. They over there working hard, I can guarantee you. They over there working hard to put out some content. They are. Mmm. Mm. Mm -hmm. This was a big breakfast. It was. It was a big breakfast. So, y'all, Thanksgiving is creeping up on us. Black Friday, I got a few things that I'm trying to get, honey. Uh huh. I got one thing specifically I'm trying to get. I love Christmas time. Do y'all do Black Friday shopping? I asked y'all that before. Y'all, most of y'all said y'all do y'all's on the internet now. I had some ketchup up here, y'all, for my eggs. But them eggs was seasoned just right here. I ain't need no ketchup. Mmm. I'm wondering, for Thanksgiving this year, should I attempt to bake something? Yeah, I don't bake. Like, I know how to make sweet potato pies, uh, but like, I don't know how to bake. For real, I don't know how. Like, I don't know how to cook sweets like that. I don't know how to do that. I think that's a very, very special gift. That's something my mom was great at. Something on my beard, y'all. It looked like it is anyway. But that's something my mom was always real good at. My mom could make the best chocolate pies in the world, y'all. Oh, my God. That would be so good. And then, I was I was the one in the house that didn't like the, you know, like the, what they call that egg topping, the meringue? I didn't like that. So, she would always make mine without, I had my own pie without meringue on it, baby. Baby, I love me some chocolate pies. I really, really do. Well, I love my mama talking about her. And then, later years, she used to make, like, these chocolate pies that was kind of like chest cake. Oh, my. Oh. Baby. And them junk used to be so good. Them junk used to be so good. But I didn't, I didn't receive that part. The bacon thumb or whatever they call it. <laughs> is it the baker's mitt or whatever it is? You know, like, the person that grow... Uh, plants real good. They say they have a green thumb. Well, they do have a saying about chefs or bakers or whatever. I think it's like the baker's thumb. Or, I forgot what it's called. But anyway, they do have something like that. They say like that. I didn't get that. My husband do all the baking. I know this year for Thanksgiving, I know we're going to, I'm going to have an apple pie. I always get a fresh homemade apple pie. He's going to get them, them, uh, what are the granny smith apples, some green apples, baby. And make that pie. I love it. It's so good. Y'all be so excited about the holidays. But anyway, did y'all ever get started on y'all Thanksgiving meal, getting y'all the stuff? And did y'all get started on Christmas? I didn't tell y'all, honey, you're going to save money. You'll see a lying to you. If you go to getting all the little knick-knack gifts that you're going to get for baby cousin, niece, twice removed, and all that, them little five, four, five, ten dollar gifts, and get them out of the way. And then when the actual time comes, 
You ain't got nothing to get but your large items. See what you say to mine. You'll say to mine. Because a lot of that stuff, like the little knickknacks that I'm talking about, the stuff that don't cost, oh, excuse me, like $20 and below. That stuff I already don't say, huh? They are not put that stuff on sale because they know folks going to buy that stuff. You going to pick that stuff up and have that stuff out the way. And I already bought. That's just, that's just how I do it. That's how I do it. And I tend to, over the years, figure out that I save money doing that, too. But then, y'all, did y'all see that? If you didn't, don't worry about it. If you did. Hey! <laughs> anyway, y'all, we finna go. We're gonna get up out of here. Big Ben says good night. Hey! <laughs> Big Ben says good night. Uh, Big Bean was very much on these today with these pancakes. Them pancakes was delicious. But y'all can keep the strawberry syrup. You ain't got to worry about me overpopulating the market and you not being able to get any. I don't like it. Well, it was okay. But not for my pancakes, though. Not for my pancakes. Y'all, are we going to have Thanksgiving dinner on the show? Y'all mean to do a Thanksgiving dinner? Leave in the comments below if you want me to do a Thanksgiving edition on the show. Because we can do that. Because I'm definitely going to be cooking. That's for sure. Baby, uh, baby. I won't be the one who hoods when they ain't got no leftover dressing and all that kind of stuff. Baby, poor man, my hood's going to have his dressing to take the work if he wants to, too. Just like everybody else. What you said, how you said it in that order. I cannot. <laughs> baby, that was a lot. I hope you kept up. Tangent free mind. I'm thinking about you. I love you, baby doll. Lavet Wardell, Ginger Snap 44. I love you all. I love all y'all guys. I love all of you. I love you all. Angela Chicken Me Card, what's up, boo? What's up, baby girl? What's up, baby girl? Uh, anyway, y'all, we're finna go. I'm ramming on again. I am. I'm ramming on. But I'm gonna go now. I am. I'm gonna go. Y'all be good. I love each and every one of you guys so, 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 so much. I love you so, 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 so much. I do. But we better go. Y'all, I don't wanna go. I wanna stay here with y'all. But I'm full. I'm full. But look, let me tell you this here though before I go to Bridge Off. Y'all, what I was telling y'all about. about uh, the Wiseman kid, y'all check that out and look that up. He is the number one player in college. Like, you know, as far as like, you know how they do when they get ready to take you to the NBA and all that good kind of stuff. I don't know that process that good, but that process right there. You know, he won them the number one person. And they trying to take his eligibility from him because his mama took some money from what now is his coach. But 10 years ago, them folks didn't know they was going to end up, he was going to end up being this good. And he was going and he was going to end up being the coach of the baby. It's a whole bunch of stuff. Go check it out. Go check it out. Right here in Memphis, Tennessee, he played for the Memphis Tigers. Last name Wiseman. Y'all go check that out. You gonna be like, dang. You know, I know that woman didn't wasn't trying to mess her son up ten years ago, but it's it's done now, honey. They trying to make that man ineligible. Anyway, y'all, go do that. And I'm gonna see you tomorrow. Okay. I love you all so, so, so much. All my new legion, thank you so much for being here. I love each and every one of you guys. You guys are great. Thank you so much for choosing us. Okay. To all my legion that were already here, I love you all. Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back. <laughs> Bye, y'all. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute, y'all. You guys, look. Always remember that there's always more than one way home. All you have to do is get there. So get there, people. Get there. I love you all. And I'm going to see you guys next time. And if you're not here to watch me next time, you, uh-uh, you, uh-uh, you have lied to me. And I know you lied. Period. Bye-bye. Oh, that was good. Bye-bye. I'm done. That was good. That food was banging. I almost ate all that food too. That food was banging. I ain't make no mess either. Look, <laughs> I did. I didn't make no mess. I ain't hold up.
ain't no syrup stick. I ain't no. I didn't mess up nothing. <laughs> I didn't mess up anything. Good job, man. Good job. I'm talking about ain't nothing down here. Look, I'm searching for it. <laughs> I didn't. I didn't waste my bacon one time, but I picked it up. But ain't no. I ain't no crumbs. Ain't no syrup. Ain't no piece of pancake. No jalapeno bit. Ain't nothing over there. I didn't, I'm, I'm floored. <laughs> I am enamored. Is that, am I using that the right way? I don't know. I probably ain't. But anyway, uh, y'all, look, in the video, I was trying to tell y'all, y'all be careful. Y'all be careful, okay? Be careful what you do because you don't know what the outcome, you do not know what the outcome of what you're doing today how it may affect your child later on. Y'all just read that now here is giving me a strange red glow. Look at my hands. Look how I do my hands. <laughs> Y'all for real though. What you do today may affect your child later on. Y'all got to be. You know something? That brings me back to another situation. Y'all, I know some parents who by the time their kids get of age, baby, they credit burnt up. They got old light bills. Y'all, I think that's a devastating thing for a parent to do a child like that. You know, they come on hard times doing their raising and use their name for light bills and telephone bills and cell phone bills and all that. And then when the child get grown, that credit already ruined. Y'all, that's sad. That's sad. You're supposed to want better for your children. No matter what I would ever do to that may would harm me, you know, as a grown adult. The decision that I make, I would never do anything like that that would harm my child to stunt her when she gets rid. Baby, that's, that's sad. That's sad. And I know this lady, this probably wasn't the same type of thing because it never said anything like the lady was, a, a you know, like a, a person that didn't work or that's the situation at all. I think that she, somebody helped her and she moved her and her son from one location to another. And I think she has other kids too. Um... But it's gonna come back, y'all, and they're trying to make that man, that that guy, ineligible. They really are, and I hate that so 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 bad because he is so good. He is so good, y'all. Y'all, that that's y'all over there. Y'all hear that? Back to back to back. I'm trying to tell y'all something. Cut it out. But anyway, y'all check that story out. I want y'all to really, really go check that story out because it's really, really deep, and it really, really may make you think about some of the choices that you're making today and how they may affect your child. For later on. Remember the Bible says you as a parent, you're supposed to create a storehouse for your child. It was one of the things that you were commanded to do. It was. Remember the Ten Commandments, it told the child that, that the child must honor thy mother and father. But that same Bible also says that you are to create a storehouse for your child. That's what it says. So you don't, don't be ruining the credit and all that kind of stuff and doing all that kind of stuff and taking money from folks and stuff. Now, you don't know what, what the future may hold. Don't do that, y'all. Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't mess these kids up, honey. Because when you get older, who's going to take care of you? Who's going to take care of you? If that credit messed up, broke, busted, and disgusted because you done took that. Y'all got to go. I'm going to go, y'all. But remember, what you're doing today may affect your child later on. Go check out that story. He plays for the Memphis Tigers here in Memphis, Tennessee. His last name is Wiseman. Good kid. Great kid. And I think he comes from a very, very good family. So it wasn't that type of party. It's just something that she did that, ends up, that could very well cost her child his millions. Because that's what he's going to make. Because he's going to the NBA. Anyway, y'all, I love you guys so, so, so much. I'm going to see y'all next time. Bye-bye.